Even though there are many tracing templates available within Canva, there's nothing more satisfying than creating our own templates. So in this video, we will see how we can create a tracing alphabet printable worksheet like this one. First of all, the page format that I'm going to use is an A4 size page. So if you want, you can just choose A4 size or the 8 by 11 inches as your dimensions for the page. Next, don't create on an empty white page. You want to keep a subtle pastel tint as page backgrounds with one of these colors for best outcome. Remember to use a light color palette because uh, they give a good light tint kind of look and not any shades which are more darker in color of the, which are of the same spectrum. We don't want to leave the entire page in this color as well because uh, it will obviously use up more color while printing. So let us place a white rectangle on top of this leaving the page's background color as a border. The best way to add rectangle borders is not to use any images. Do not search for any rectangle border as any images. But instead, insert shapes. Like you can insert a rectangle here and then you can adjust that easily with the border color and um, the border thickness or the curved round rounded corners, all that easily. So for a worksheet template here that you want to print out, you can customize that by adding name fields here and then add a so that the kids can write in their name and then you can also add the date fields so that's another thing not all templates will have that so you can add it uh, here um, the the choice between top or bottom it's up to you so you can do add it wherever you want and then we can also add page numbers in the footer section if you know how many pages are going to be in this so uh, enter downloadable so that's another thing that can make it more unique and then uh, you can even add a field for uh, kids who are going to school and uh, it could be like uh, it could also be useful for the teachers wherein if you mention if it is a homework or a classwork just keep the abbreviations cw or hw so the kids can easily make a mark like a checkbox here it's a homework or a classwork next we can add cute elements that can be counted in pictures if it is going to be a, a numerical worksheet instead of alphabets uh, you can keep any cute elements like these uh, which can be counted in pictures something like an apple a honeybee a cartoon ladybug a smiling sun a cute frog you can find many of these elements using these uh, handles that i have displayed on the screen you can just copy and paste just type it into your search field within the elements and you can find a lot of uh, free elements for uh, adding these uh, picture counting exercises and uh, next, uh, another thing to make it unique is to uh, add some writing directions with guiding arrows. You can see something like these here, like these, which guides the kids to write in uh, like how to start writing the alphabets. It could give uh, the numbers one, two, three, and then it could it can also give the directions with the arrows. Now, it is quite trickier if you want to give some curved arrows. So here's a workaround on how I uh, got that. First, I just created, if you see, this is actually a grouped one. And if you see, uh, uh, if, you, uh, if I ungroup this, you can see that I just placed an empty square or circle on top of this. Whereas this is just a simple circle with the uh, the border style as a dotted dash dashed one with the border weight as two. And then I changed the color as well. And once I did that, I just simply added a small triangle on top of this to give the arrow effect. So putting this all together, I got this curved arrow effect. And once if it is grouped, you can also rotate this and then customize this the way you want it. And then also reuse them whenever you want it. Now let's add some lines here, which is going to be your base for the template. We'll add four lines, two straight lines and then two straight or dotted lines or dashed lines in the middle. Yeah, that's totally your preference. First, you want to add these lines and then you can also hit the L key on your keyboard will add a line so this you can customize and then copy and paste so the line weight for this are going to be if you click on here this one the line weight is going to be just one the line gap between these four lines are going to be 0 0.25 approximately i'll show you how to measure these but uh, just know that these are going to be 0 0.25 inches approximately you need not get it perfectly. It can also be 0 0.241 uh, between that or 0 0.245. Uh, they both will look fine. 
So once you add this line here, I'm going to duplicate this and then another one, another one. So here's how you can measure the gap between the lines. If you click on first line and then hit the Alt key or the Option key on your keyboard and then place your mouse cursor on top of this. That will show you the distance between two lines. So this is what I was talking about where you want to keep it as 0 0.25 inches. If you want it precisely calculated, you can also hit the control key or zoom in a bit. That will give you more uh, precise control. That's 0 0.25. Similarly, we want to keep it for all the lines. That this should do. If this is the case, then uh, if you simply duplicate the next line onwards, it will automatically pick up the correct distance. So if I duplicate now, Canva will auto calculate the distance and it will give me 0 0.25 automatically. So that's the beauty of it. If you just do twice and then it will automatically pick up. Even if you add one more, the distance will be auto calculated to 0 0.25. So let's not duplicate first, just create two and then the third and fourth one will be automatically picked or maybe the fourth one will be automatically picked. Now for the line colors, for the top, and the bottom lines you can select using uh, the shift key to select both the lines and the color can be uh, a pinkish red let us see yeah this looks good and then for the middle two lines it could be either light gray or sky blue so i'm going to simply say sky blue a space between sky and blue will give me this. So we have got the lines added. Before grouping these, let us enlarge and to touch till the margin. Now you might be wondering how to add a margin, which can be really helpful. We can add that, okay, let me group this and we can simply duplicate this to add for all the complete page. But before that, how to add a margin? You can go into file and then settings, then show margins. So I disabled it now. Let me add it for you. Show margins. This gives a very good look and also it will help us and guide us on how to add these lines. With the colors, I like the red and blue combination because I see them in my kids school books as well. So this color combination is validated for practical use by children. But you can choose whatever color you want. That's up to you. For the line style, as I said, these are solid lines and the middle lines can be dotted which is what is my preference. But if you want, you can make it dotted as well. For the page border, the 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 typical ones are like you will give you medium sized border, which is like 0 0.5 inches here on all sides actually, or it could be more narrower, in, which is in what in my case is. That could be 0 0.375 in inches. You can keep however you want it. And the uh, page size could be a US letter or A4, which are more or less uh, very uh, close by. So you can choose whatever format works for you. Now, I'm not a famous designer, but I'm a Canva design community canvasador with more than half a million views on my videos related to Canva in this channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as I create more such videos on designs, productivity and uh, self-publishing. Back to the video. A typical kindergarten lined paper comes in three lines with two horizontal solid lines uh, like this one here, one at the top and one at the bottom and the middle one will be dashed or dotted. Some kindergarten teachers also prefer four lines with two darker lines at the top and bottom like these with two lighter colored lines in the middle. I would prefer and create the four lined sheet for this video. Now it's up to you if you want to keep the four lines or the three lines. For a wide four lines English alphabet writing paper template, we can get eight set of lines on an A4 sized sheet of paper. So this is one set and we can get eight. Let me zoom out. We can get eight of these. As of now, I have got five. So let's take this one. This is six and seven and an eight. With approximately 0.375 inches or 0.4 inches in gap between the groups of four lines. It could be 0.25 or 0.24 in gap between the lines as well here as we saw earlier. And for a narrow four lines English alphabet writing paper template, we can get 14 or 15 set of lines on an A4 size paper. And for that, the gap between the groups can be 0.27 inches with four lines. And uh, the gap in between lines could be 0 0.115 or just 0 0.1 inches. Now adding a margin is your choice. If you do, 
extend these lines to the edges and then add a simple red or pink vertical line as your margin in this video like this one in this video i will proceed without one now the middle lines this will act as our baseline on which most letters will sit the top and bottom lines colors can be black magenta or any shade of red or pink the middle lines can also be dashed one if you prefer now before we start adding the alphabet letters let's learn a few key terminologies the top and bottom lines act as our ascenders and descenders that's why i prefer a four lined rather than a three lined one now the part of a lower case letter that extends above the x height like in h or d or k those are the ascenders and uh, the part of a lower case letter that extends below the baseline like in p q g or y that's the descender the x height is the height of a lower case x in your typeface the ascender line is the invisible line that marks the height of all ascenders in your typeface now cap height that's something like the cap the height of uh, upper case letters in a typeface typically measured from the baseline to the top of upper case letters typeface the overall design or appearance of a set of characters including letters numbers and symbols that share common design features those are called as the typeface now with this newly added knowledge let's now add our alphabets for this we will use one of these fonts i personally prefer the dotty font which is available even for commercial usage from creative america if you want this same font that i use i provided a link below that uh, can get you this font and a million more designs graphics and fonts for just 47 dollars per year or you can just simply purchase this font alone for a smaller price now for this video i'm going to proceed with the kg primary dots font and then you can simply start writing which will easily fit inside your lines if it doesn't then you can rearrange the font size to make it fit inside the lines so that's how we can prepare your tracing worksheet